UA student Mike Kushner is preparing fruit flies. It's part of a first-of-its-kind experiment led by UA professor Dr. Linda Restifo. Fruit flies are the most complicated, simple animal that you can study if you want to understand the biology of the brain. Fruit fly genes are similar to those in humans. That knowledge led Dr. Restifo to her research on developmental disabilities. I realized that there was this gap in the knowledge about brain development and the ability to use that knowledge for therapeutics. So I started asking myself, why have doctors and scientists and the general public assumed that developmental brain disorders wouldn't be treatable? Now, Dr. Restifo and her team are reassessing that assumption. They test fruit flies to find a drug that will treat autism and developmental disorders. Autism is the fastest growing developmental disability in the United States. Doctors diagnose autism based on three criteria. Problems in social interaction, that's sort of considered to be the core feature of autism. And they have problems with uh, communication. Um, and then they have problems in repetitive behaviors or restricted interests. So those are the three core features for autism. Dr. Restifo recruited Dr. Guman to examine flies. She identified flies showing similar behaviors to her autistic patients, notably repetitive behaviors. The mutant flies, they would really get stuck. They would just groom and groom and groom the same part over and over and over. The team of students examines the differences in normal flies to mutant flies. They aren't nearly as exploratory as wild type flies and for the most part their interest is in grooming themselves. The second part of the research is examining mutant fly brain cells. Uh, in this lab we do apply different compounds uh, to the, the culture media, so uh, th that can include drugs, toxins, the team looks at individual branches of brain cells under a microscope. They found that mutant flies exhibit curly stems on their cells. Curly stems result from a lack of protein essential to brain development. We can ask, well, can we find a drug that will make those cells look normal again? And that then becomes the starting point for looking for, for chemical compounds that could become safe and effective drugs. The team has already tested 1,040 drugs on these curly neurons. Their goal is to repurpose drugs already used to treat other disorders. Currently, doctors treat autistic patients by identifying a problematic behavior and treating with medication. With this research, the hope is that it's going beyond just the behavioral uh, symptomatic treatment, but actually looking at what is actually wrong in the brain and maybe it can change those processes in the brain. They plan to target the core symptoms of autism. Dr. Estifo hopes the team can move to test mutant mice and eventually humans. We're, we're on the edge of, of the current state of human knowledge and we're trying to push that into the therapeutic domain. So how to translate this into safe and effective treatments for children.